Hello, little M. It's Big M here. Um, you've asked me to read the poem Kindness by Naomi Chihab Nye. And you asked me to dedicate it to someone or some people or a group. And I thought, gosh, there are so many choices. And then I thought I would dedicate it instead to our collective future, to the people that we are going to be after this. Because what the crisis has made so painfully clear is that we can't go back to normal. We have to replace some of our priorities with others. We have to place people before profit, place cooperation before competition. And above all, we have to access what has been so abundant, which is kindness. And we have to apply it to all our systems. And the first question that we need to ask ourselves when we address anything is, but is it kind? And I think this poem puts it better than anything I've ever seen before. Um, that's my stomach, by the way. Kindness. Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go. So you know how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. How you ride and ride, thinking the bus will never stop, the passengers eating maize and chicken will stare out the window forever. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel where the Indian in a white poncho lies dead by the side of the road. You must see how this could be you, how he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Before you know kindness as the deepest thing, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. You must wake up with sorrow. You must speak to it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows and you see the size of the cloth. Then it is only kindness that makes sense anymore. Only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to gaze at bread only kindness that raises its head from the crowd of the world to say, it is I you have been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere, like a shadow or a friend. Oh, my stomach.